Hey guys, Big Dan Bates here. Do you want to accurately track your propane levels while you're traveling or even when it's just sitting in your driveway? There is one company out there that's come up with a wonderful device that's not very expensive at all and does the job accurately and more efficiently than any other product on the market. You want to find out all about it? Stay tuned. Hey guys, Big Dan Bates here with Bates Photography on the Road. I have another RV video for you. I know my photographers are probably scratching their heads saying, where's our photography content? That's coming up. In fact, I'm wearing the new uh, wireless uh, lavalier system. It comes with two packs and mics and one receiver, which is actually on my Sony a7 III right now filming this. So I'm actually doing a video for next week involving this wireless lavalier system. So. Today we have more RV content. So we have been looking for some time uh, for some sort of a way to properly monitor our propane levels. Uh, we use propane obviously for uh, heat or hot water or to run the fridge if for some reason we're not in a, in a electricity situation. Uh, I do have the inverter install, which you can see a couple weeks back I did an inverter install for when we're towing I can run the refrigerator. But there's times where we've literally ran out of propane way sooner than we thought we should have, and we were literally left out in the cold. So uh, we've been looking for some time for a system. Now there's a few different things. They have this tape you put on the side, and as your propane escapes, the, the liquid gets cold, so it, there'll be a temperature differentiation, and you can actually look and see. They're not always accurate, and it depends if you're using propane currently for it to be cold in order to read. Uh, we have these gas stop, emergency gas stop systems. These have this gauge on them, but the gauge is basically useless. I mean, it tells you if the tank's experiencing high pressure, normal pressure, or low pressure. So in the end, it's basically telling you, yeah, you're out of gas. There's no accurate way to look at this and see exactly where you're at. So Mopeka has a system. It's relatively inexpensive. It's about $79. I'll link it below and it's a system that works off of sonar. So when your tank is full of propane, there's a dense liquid for most of the tank until you get up to the top or wherever your level is, then it turns to gas. It actually uses sonar and shoots radio beams through the bottom of the tank and measures the distance to the top of that liquid level. Boy, I tell you, living on the main road. Uh, so it's a very accurate system. So I have my tank here. Here's my little Mopeka. It is held on with two little earth magnets. I'll come up a little closer to the camera here. It's held on with two little earth magnets and that little black dot in the middle, that's the sonar beacon. Now it looks a little shiny and greasy and I'm gonna to talk to you about that in a second. So this mounts to the very center of your tank. So when you put it on there, you want that sonar to be about dead center. And what that'll do is it'll make this look off centered but that's perfectly fine. You just want that sonar centered as possible on there. And it just sticks on there with uh, the magnets. Now, you see this black ring I have. Let me put this back over here. So when this is sitting down in your tray, the bottom flange on that tank isn't quite long enough just by default of how they're produced isn't quite long enough to leave room for that sensor in there. So what will happen is that sensor will end up rubbing, especially as you're bouncing down the road, may come disengaged, it may crush and break. The way these tanks are designed is you have that outer flange and then that bulge in the middle just about touches for support. These come with these little aluminum feet that click on and I tell you, Mopeka really listens to their uh, customer input. The original system whether you get the one sensor or two sensor, came with the monitor, the uh, sensor or two sensors, and little rubber feet. Problem is the little rubber feet would harden over time, they'd crack, they'd get brittle. The tank would actually start to rip through the feet, crushing the sensors. They had on their website as an add-on these aluminum feet. Well now, they come standard with the aluminum feet because they started saying that the rubber feet were not working. Now what you see on my tank here, this is a Mopeka ring. 
So uh, it is a plasticized rubber ring, meaning it, it's, it's still rubbery and soft, but it's a real dense rubber. And that encompasses the entire bottom. So twofold, one, it works as that lift you need for the space for the sensor. And the other thing is once it's in place, look, I can't even turn this. That rubber is really grippy. So I, I went with that route instead. I'll also put that in the links. Um, relatively inexpensive. I have the aluminum feet as backup in case these split or something one day. But I really like the idea of the full ring for one, for better support and two, for stability. So you need something on there to space that tank up so that sensor's not getting crushed. Now let's talk about the monitor. So the monitor, it comes with a small little monitor. I have it mounted inside. We'll go in in a second, show you. And that monitor simply has two buttons. We'll tank one, tank two. Now these, you designate which one's which with this, depending on how you sync them. And uh, I actually have them marked my label maker. I've been labeling everything. I love this new label maker I got. I'm la literally labeling everything. So I have them marked by that. So the monitor comes out of the box and it is preset from the factory distance wise, uh, the information it translates for a 20 pound standard propane tank. I have 20 pounders here, a standard grill will be 20 pounders. A lot of RVs have 30 and 40. So here's the catch. So the, that is preset at 20. What will happen is as your propane gets down to however many inches it recognizes being 20, it'll start counting down from there. So if you have a 40 pound tank, when it'll stay full until you're half empty and then from there it'll count down accurately to zero. So you know when it starts to move you have half a tank, when it's saying you have a half you have a quarter and when it says you're empty you're empty. This is where the app is so incredible. Along with the improvements they've made by including those aluminum feet and I failed to mention it now comes, you saw that, I don't know if you see if it translated on camera, the clear sticky goo on the bottom it comes with this, uh, uh, like a jelly paste, and you just put a little bit on that sensor, and it's basically like uh, what you get on the ultrasound. They squeeze that clear gel on you when they do an ultrasound. It's basically that, and it helps the, that contact to give you even more accurate of a reading when it's, it's trying to communicate through maybe an old tank that's maybe rusty or whatever. It really uh, improves. So those two things, the aluminum feet and the... Uh, sonar gel are additions that you'll get now standard that before did not come with them. But where they're so great, not only did they do that, their app is so full featured. We're going to get into it. We're going to show you how to pair all them and do it manually as well with the manual sensor as well as on the app. So let's first go inside. I want to show you the sensor inside uh, or the monitor rather inside. I want to unhook this sensor and we're going to sync it to that and then we're going to sync it to the smartphone app, which I highly, highly encourage you download because not only can you set it, I have a 40 pound tank, a 30 pound tank and get accurate readings. There's so many different options and things you can do. You can monitor 20 tanks if you had to for different reasons. Um, so I'm gonna get the sensor off of here. We're gonna head inside and check it out. All right, so here we are inside the RV. This is the, the analog monitor, so to speak, that comes with it. Now, I already have this all set up because I wanted to go through it all and make sure that, you know, everything was in place. I understood how it worked before making this video. Uh, oftentimes, I'll do something literally unboxing and right to install, and I don't realize this or that, and I, I want to try to do better with this content. So I went through this whole system, both the app and this monitor, to make sure I had all the proper information and worked out all the kinks beforehand. So... Out of the box, you have this and you have two sensors. So these are the sensors that go under your tank. Now, in order to sync this to this, you have to wake it up from the factory. And how you do that is the screen button up top, you hit it five times in rapid succession. One, two, three, four, five. And then you hit the sync. And now it's going to look for it. Now it's synced. You see it's saying empty because it's not on the tank. Now, I already synced tank two. So if we hit tank two, it's going to scan. Scan. Now, I'm right next to it, so it was quick. This is going through all my RV. And there you see tank two is full. And you're going to similarly do this in a similar manner for the app. Uh, so you can mount this anywhere. 
these have easily a hundred foot of range on them. I've walked all the way to the other end of my neighbor's driveway and had full signal uh, when I was monitoring it. So they, they do have a great range. It's all done through Bluetooth. So this is just battery operated, nothing to wire. Screw it wherever you would like to screw it. And click at a button, you get very accurate levels. Now this has it set as full, three quarters, half, quarter, and empty. Again, this isn't on the tank, so if I hit it, it's just gonna show it as being empty. Uh, this was a lot quicker than that because I'm holding it next to it. But this does have a good range, so uh, even with the app, why you'd ever wanna do it is beyond me, but you could be in your car driving and checking your RV or checking your propane levels, and it would, it would function. It has a easily, easily a 100 foot range uh, to the Bluetooth connection from the sensor to the monitor. But more exciting than all this is the app. So let's go out and check out that app. Okay, we have the Mopeka app up. Uh, you can download it at your app store, whether you're Android or iPhone, iOS. So we have our sensor number one here, and you see it's sitting here idle, no devices have been added. I actually had them, I cleared them out for the purpose of this demonstration. So again, you gotta do the same thing you did with the um, analog monitor. So five times on the button. One, two, three, four, five. There it is, it just saw it. So it came up as, now because it's in my history, it automatically listed as tank one. I'm gonna show you where you go and it's gonna just say sensor or whatever and you can go in and rename it. So. When I click on this, you see it's saying empty because I'm not hooked up to the tank currently. So here you have on the upper left here, you see the battery level, which is strong. Uh, these take probably like a CR 25, 30, whatever it is. Um, I haven't just got them, I haven't had to change them. Signal strength, you see we have full strength because I'm close to the unit. Uh, and then you have tank info. So now in the upper right hand corner, you have that little cog, that little gear. If you hit that, now you're seeing where you can rename it. Uh, I have it as tank one because I've already assigned them. This is gonna say probably a random series of numbers. So you hit it and you just type whatever it is you would like the name of it to be. Now here's where the app is so much more powerful than that analog sensor you have in your RV. It's great for a quick reference, but this really gets into it. So as we come down here, device name, I have this listed as tank one. Your region, United States, that's fine. Now, when you go onto this app, you can register with them. And, and if you register with them and have a log on, your phone will actually update like logs and information of your tank levels um, to your cloud account uh, for monitoring for whatever purpose you may wanna have that. So now we come down to tank size. This is where it's awesome. So this will know, okay, 20 pound vertical, which is your standard propane tank, a 30 pound or a 40 pound. Then you have just any tank, just random tank that's not a standard tank, like maybe for a forklift or a golf cart or something like that, you can put these on. And you have arbitrary vertical, arbitrary horizontal. So like a, a golf cart or again, a forklift, their tanks are horizontal, so you would set it for horizontal. So, and then you can adjust how high that horizontal tank is here. So we're not gonna get into that, I'm leaving it at 20. But uh, if you, so let's say at, at 20, you have it set uh, and you wanna see that it actually works. If, if, you're, if this is on my tank and I switch this to 30, it's gonna show my full tank as, as a third empty. If I switch it to 40, it's gonna show my tank as half empty because that sonar is very accurate. So now we have alarm threshold. So basically you wanna set this, if you want your phone to notify you, hey, we just read your tanks and they're getting pretty low, uh, you set this alarm, you'll get a notification. So I have, I just moved it to 15%. Uh, I think 20 is probably good too. So 20% and then at 20%, I wanna get an alarm, a notification on my phone, hey, your tank's 20% empty, you might wanna think about, you know, getting it filled soon. And then your tank levels, you can have done in percent, inches or, or centimeters or inches. Now, if you know exactly what you want, if you prefer, okay, I wanna know how many inches of liquid propane I have, certainly set it to that. 
percent just kind of works fine for me. And I think for most cases, percent is fine. It's okay, you're 10% left. It's pretty, pretty easy. And then the rest down here is just information, uh, how quickly it, it syncs and updates, the firmware version uh, of the Mopeka tank check, and the kind of web address down bottom there. So that's for that tank. Now, of course, it's reading empty because it's off. Uh, if I go back here, I have to go actually hit the button five times for tank two to get that added back on. But so you have top left is your account. Uh, and once you register for that, you know, it'll update your sensors. It'll up, upload that information to your account. Uh, what works good for that is, is the, like a, the backup on those. So I deleted all these devices from the app so I could show you how to sync it. But because I have an account, when I log back in and I resync this one, it knew that this one, because they all have unique IDs, that this one on my account is tank one. So it automatically labeled as tank one, automatically set it back to 20 pounds, all those type of things. Now on the main screen here, if you come over to the top, what they call hamburger, the, the top, the three dashes at the top right, here you can buy more sensors, go to a help page, uh, turn on your alarm notifications, let it upload or not upload your, your sensor uh, data, and sort preferences. They can show you the lowest tank first. I have it by name, tank one, tank two. It's just easy for me. So, I mean, the app really opens, a whole, opens up a whole new level of monitoring with accuracy and, and a lot more options. So if you're going with the Mopeka, and not only are, I think they're one of the only companies out there that make a device like this that works so well. Uh, I've had it on the rig now for a couple of weeks. I actually watched one whole tank go down the empty. I intentionally was running my heat and all as it's sitting here parked on my basketball court. I let it run all the way down, got tanks filled, put them back on there, and I, I'm already halfway down through another one uh, just seeing how it's going and I'm comparing the readings on the smartphone to the readings on the analog monitor and they're, they're perfectly in sync. So it, it definitely works well. I think one, they're one of the only companies out there that are doing it and they're doing it right. Uh, as usual, this is an unsponsored, unsolicited review of the, of the application. I put this stuff out there because I, I used it, I liked it, I know it works and it really suits a need out there that no one really else makes up a, a proper working product for. So it's the Mopeka tank check. Links will be below for this for the kit as well as the ring. And it's it's really priceless if propane levels are important to you. Where I think this fills a niche is boondockers, people who maybe stay overnight at Walmart's Cracker Barrels, Cabela's, uh, breaking up their trip. Things where you don't, don't necessarily have ready access to top off your tanks. So maybe it's like, oh, we're getting low. You know, maybe turn down the heat, turn off the hot water heater. You know, these newer hot water heaters, and these new rigs, once they're hot, you literally can turn them off and you'll still have hot water for hours. Now, if you're getting a shower, you're going to run out pretty quickly. But it's, it's something that you can really save propane when you're not on an electric situation um, just by doing things like, turning off your refrigerator for an hour or two and then turn it, it'll stay cold for a good two hours. Turn off your refrigerator for an hour or two, turn it back on. So there's lots of things you can do to, to save propane, but a, a accurate, very true level accurate reading device in situations like that are critical. So you know exactly where you stand. Do we need to go somewhere, take a tank and run down to some gas station somewhere or, or somewhere? Now I would never recommend doing propane exchanges. You actually get get robbed if you go to one of those places where you give them your tank and they give you another tank for shipping reasons for the facts that they they sit in tractor trailers for for days on end in the blistering heat they are intentionally filled like almost 20 percent less than full to give it that safety expansion space so always get your tank filled and if you can get it filled at a reputable place my name is hank hill and i sell propane and propane accessories um, I went to a U-Haul center to get mine filled recently, and I saw the guy do something I've never seen before. He hooked up the lever, activated it, and then turned the bleeder screw and let that bleed out until the tank safety device physically shut off all flow. And he says, well, this is the right way to do it. This is how you know it's full. 
Most times the guys look at the meter and when it gets around four pounds for a 20, 20 or four gallons for like a 20 pound tank, they just shut it off. It may not necessarily be full, but uh, yeah, try to make sure you're going to a reputable propane dealer and, and monitor those levels. It's a great system. I highly recommend it. I'm considering getting another sensor to put on uh, my reserve tank, just so I, I have one already on there, label it tank three or reserve, so that if I'm rotating out tanks, uh, they're already equipped. Now, this does hold on, like I said, with this magnet, and there are two earth magnets, so they're, they're pretty strong, but I would pop this off and leave it at the camper in the tray that tank belongs on when you go to take it to get it filled. Just because of being handled and all, the last thing you want to do is go somewhere to get your tank filled, come back, and your sensor's missing. I would definitely not leave it on there when I'm moving the tanks around. But it, it, with that space, with that ring, and the strength of these magnets, there's no reason this should ever budge going down the road. So uh, kudos to, to Mopeka for listening to their customer input and providing the aluminum feet and the gel and really doing so much great work with the app. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll find as good use for this as we have. And until next time, have a good one. Stay safe.